From the air, a heartbreaking portrait of life in Colony Ridge. An RV with a tarp roof held down by duct tape. Garbage strewn all around. Folks living in tents. On land they bought from a wealthy developer at a high price. 13% interest rates. Some have no water, no sewer. We know a lot of these folks are here illegally. And the developer knows that too. I've been concerned when I see how some of the people are living without water, without sewer, with tarps on the places. Don't you think have a responsibility to make sure that, that those people live a good life? Meet Trey Harris and his family. Well, they own all of the 30,000 acres, thousands of home sites, as far as the eye can see. Maybe he's just shy. Well, if you don't like that one, let me try another one. Why does your family give so much money to politicians? Campaign records show the Harris family has given Governor Abbott alone $600,000 in campaign funds. This is Texas Governor Greg Abbott, and I endorse Ernest Bales for state representative. The Harris plan has also helped bankroll the local state rep too, Ernest Bales. You have to know how to listen, and you have to know how to have the conversation. If Bales practiced what he promised, he would talk to me so we can both help Plum Grove residents together. But nah, Bales did listen to the Harris family and help them get their very own taxing district. Months later, Bales got campaign cash. Tell me why you guys give so much money. Is it because you believe in good government? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Our rather unproductive chat with Trey Harris came after a meeting of the Liberty County Commissioners. On the agenda, a request by Mr. Harris for permission to build even more subdivisions. My name is Wayne Dolcefino. So we went to see if these guys care about the town of Plum Grove. Generations of Texans paying the price for an out of control colonia next door. Somebody needs to say, Let's pause. Let's fix what we have before we make it any bigger. The tiny country roads in Plum Grove are now in shambles. A dangerous rodeo for school buses with little kids in them. But it's the drainage coming from Colony Ridge that may be the biggest danger. Documented, repeated violations of state environmental rules. Raw sewage overflowing from a manhole. Raw sewage dumped in ditches. 48,000 gallons in just one incident. Fecal matter found in creeks that find their way to Lake Houston. The pictures will make your stomach turn, unless you're sitting on Liberty County Commissioner's Court. But what's going on up here is affecting folks downstream. We asked commissioners to wait to see the visual proof of the trouble we found. Apparent violations of Liberty County's own drainage regulations. We saw the danger with our own eyes. Things you do here, Judge, I mean, Commissioners, are going to affect life and property. I need something definite to hang my hat on. Former Liberty County Sheriff Greg Arthur is now a commissioner for another part of Liberty County. But you can tell whose side he's on. Anybody can come in here and claim anything, but without some. Uh, you make accusations, but I have seen no evidence that I need to say, I need to say something specific. Okay, Commissioner Arthur, you didn't care to see the evidence before the vote, and either did Commissioner Kobaski. None of you did, in fact. What good government? Oh, did I mention that Commissioner Kobaski is under criminal indictment for illegally giving Commissioner Arthur's son a county job? Sounds like they're taking care of each other, but what about the families in Plum Grove who for generations have been paying taxes in Liberty County? So why don't we roll the videotape, shall we? How about miles and miles of drainage ditches without the required grass slopes? A lack of enough detention ponds? Huge piles of dirt right next to ditches? This is what the flood experts call backslope interceptor swales. I don't know what that is, but they're required to reduce erosion. Look at the video. Where are they? 
from a Harris County Flood Control District perspective, we, we do have some concerns. Commissioner Arthur, I'm no expert on flooding. I've just waded through a bunch of them. But this guy is Matt Zeeb, Deputy Executive Director of the Harris County Flood Control District. And unlike you, he actually wanted to see the pictures from Colony Ridge. You can have the potential to increase flooding risk for Harris County residents that live along the East Fork of the San Jacinto River and along Moose Bayou. There's the danger to Plum Grove, but not just those folks. Are you listening, Kingwood? A lot of folks are just learning about this sprawling 30,000 acre development south of Cleveland. But the folks in Plum Grove, well, they've been living it for a long time, begging for help. Maybe it helps to have a lobbyist in Austin, like Colony Ridge, AKA the Harris family. They've got one, no, actually two lobbyists. And Brent Lane has one too. He's that tough guy lawyer for Colony Ridge. You come to my house, I will kick your ass. I will beat you bloody pulp if you showed up at my house. You are an absolute dickhead. In 2017, Representative Bales and State Senator Nichols pushed through the taxing district for Mr. Harris. Three years later, we looked at the financial records of MMD1. As of August 2020, nearly $400,000 in the kitty. But where's the fire protection Colony Ridge promised for its residents? The Plum Grove Volunteer Fire Department is literally overrun with calls from Colony Ridge. You guys get $400 a month. I'd say a measly $400 a month to the Volunteer Fire Department. Don't you, can't you give them more to help? There are fires out there every day. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, nays. Nay. Okay. And that motion does pass. Uh... We're not surprised Liberty County commissioners approved more subdivisions, especially since none of them, not one, asked to see our video before they voted. It's, it can be a little frustrating from the flood control district perspective. We're working on a multi-billion dollar flood control district bond program to reduce the risk of flooding for everyone in Harris County. And now they know that literally across the county line is a development that is increasing the flood risk for Harris County too. Reducefloodingcom keeps up with the flooding dangers after Harvey. And Bob React calls what you're seeing rivers of mud. There could be potentially water quality issues of all that water uh, going into Lake Houston, which is the source of drinking water for many people in Houston, including me, where I live. Now you know how the folks in Plum Grove feel. But these guys, well, they wanted to see the evidence when it's literally been staring them right in the face. When was the last time the Liberty County Commissioners even traveled to Colony Ridge to see what they are letting happen? I'll go with them. Oh. I forgot. Colony Ridge says they'll arrest me if I come. Ooh. There's a lot of people's property and lives are affected by what you guys do. Don't you want to explain to the people of Liberty County what you're doing out there? 